We are in Germany and today we're gonna explore German village life. We're gonna go to a really cool cow shed. We are in Dorfhaus, Bavaria, where the population is 276 people. We are going to work at a family-run dairy farm with about 100 cows. And they use robots to help with every task. So now we are mixing the food for the cows. This is corn and grass mixed with malt. When I heard of mixing the food for the cows, I really thought I was going to hand mix it. You know, that's what I thought. <laughs> I thought I was going to hand mix it in a big bowl. But I guess they need a little bit more food. Thanks to this handy dandy mixer machine, the food needed for all these cows can be mixed in this one container and it only takes a few minutes. This green tractor is literally the Uber for these cows because we're going to take their food right to their doorstep. to eat this. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great also. Yeah, oh, it's a good idea. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> and it smells good. Yeah, the first Now that the cows are happily eating, we're gonna go help with the work inside. Oh, this is the milk robot. This is a fully automated milk robot. We will come back to it in just a minute. But first, let's go check out the shed. Okay. 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 So, I'm gonna make the cows stand up and then scrape the poop under their butts. Oh my god. That's my assignment right now. So that the place where they are is clean and then everything that's here is gonna be taken by a poop robot. robot. Oh wow, I wanna see that. How are you gonna make them stand up? I don't know yet. Okay, we'll um, figure it out. I'm also slightly scared because they have very big butts. It's more like they might be scared of you. I don't think they will attack you. What are you doing? Making it going to the side. Oh, more. Please. Okay. I think that's fine for yeah. Now. I think okay. you did good there. Uh, Summer just made the cow stand up. Do they all have names? Cleaning the platforms, we apply chalk to make the platforms dry and sanitized. So here he is, the poop robot. There is actually a thousand cubic meter holding tank under the floor of this building. The floor itself has slits on it. So the cleaning robot simply pushes all the waste down into this tank through the slits. The machine is programmed, so at certain times of the day, it will start its job and then after that, it goes back to its charger by itself. And this waste is used as manure for their farmland. Um, and here is the milking robot. So it's showing the cow's name, it's showing the cow's number. The milk robot 
also recognizes the milking capacity and age of each cow. Ah, on the left side of their neck, they have a sensor, so the machine knows which cow is being milked right now. And it also stores data regarding how much milk each cow is producing every day. So the machine knows if the cow is done. By acoustic signals, it listens to the milk flow, and when it feels like, oh, the milk flow is getting less, then the machine will stop. So it will milk all the milk that this cow has to give right now. Do you see that big line behind me? That's actually all the cows waiting to be milked. So they can decide themselves when they want to walk into the machine and then they get milked. Like when they feel like I'm ready to be milked, they just walk in. So this cow behind me is already waiting to go into the milk robot. I think that's really crazy. Like it wants to go inside. When they're standing in the milking station, the robot gives them yummy treats. This special treat is a combination of shredded lupin beans, grains, and corn. So the cows walk into the milk station. Then the robot will decide whether it wants to milk this cow or to let it go. The robot knows how much milk every cow can give based on prior milk collection data. It's looking for a cow with about 10 liters of milk. If she doesn't have enough milk in her udder, it will let her go. So here we have a really good girl. She likes to keep herself clean. <laughs> some of them like to just roll in the mud and make themselves dirty, but some of them actually like to be clean. So it's kind of a personality thing, like this one. This is a beautiful cow. I mean, they're all beautiful, but she likes to be clean. She looks like she had a blow dry. <laughs> yeah, whereas this one here. He likes to be more natural. You know, <laughs> in contact with nature. But it doesn't really matter what their personality is. The milk will always be pure. Because once the cow walks in, first the robot sterilizes its own teat cups. It wants to be squeaky clean. Then a brush system cleans the cow's teeth with hydrogen peroxide to prevent any infections from being passed on. The orange brush also massages the cow's udder to encourage the production of oxytocin, a hormone which is needed to stimulate the milk flow. This system makes the cows happy. Studies say cows on this system live an average of 30% longer than those on farms where they use traditional milking methods. That's like having 30% more birthdays. This robot can milk about 80 cows three times a day. On average, these cows give 30 liters a day. That's enough to fill a swimming pool. The milk goes through these tubes into the robot. The robot has a secret weapon, sensors. They're like the milk police. The sensors can see if the milk has any weird things in it, like water or dirt or even blood. That's not good for milkshakes. So the robot takes out the bad milk and keeps the good milk. So all that milk goes into a huge tank and with that, they make all kinds of things. For example, they make like 10 kinds of ice cream, eight kinds of yogurt, 10 kinds of cheese. And not only that, they also have a milk gas station. Here, you can get your own fresh milk out of the vending machine. All you gotta do is, you take a bottle, you put it in there, and you press a button and you get fresh raw milk. Okay, I think I want chocolate milk. I think the only thing better than fresh raw milk is chocolate milk. I think so too. So let's do it. So one liter is one euro. And then press the start button. Coming! That looks great. I think these babies found their own milk gas station. Can't get enough of cows? In our next video, we will go to that part of the dairy farm where we keep calves. We'll feed them, pet them, and adore them. So click on the next video. And we'll see you there.